Well, kind of. But what? What? I'm not a bad guy. I work hard and I love my kids. So why should I spend half my Sunday hearing about how I'm going to hell? Hmm. You've got a point there. You know, sometimes even I'd rather be watching football. Does St. Louis still have a team? No, they moved to Phoenix. Oh, yeah. You know what I really hate about church? Those boring sermons. <sighs> I couldn't agree more. That Reverend Lovejoy really displeases me. I think I'll give him a kecker sore. Give him one for me. I will. So I figure I should just try to live right and worship you in my own way. Homer, it's a deal. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to appear in a tortilla in Mexico. Dad, can I ask you a question? Sure, honey. Why are you dedicating your life to blasphemy? Don't worry, sweetheart. If I'm wrong, I'll recant on my deathbed. Hello, my animal friend. Peace be with you. Guys, please, could you give me five minutes? Reverend Lovejoy, I had a bit of an ulterior motive in inviting you to dinner. What? No, it's nothing bad. I'm just concerned because my husband hasn't been attending your services lately. Well, I wasn't sure I was doing the right thing, but then God himself told me I should seek a new path. Oh, really? Yeah. He appeared before me in a dream, and I knew that was special because I usually dream about naked... Mark. Homer, you're crazy. Tell him this is all crazy. Uh, uh, Homer, I'd like you to remember Matthew 7, 26. The foolish man who built his house on sand. And you remember Matthew 21, 17. And he left them and went out of the city into Bethany and he lodged there? Yeah. Think about it. Hello, work. This is Homer Simpson. I won't be coming in tomorrow. Religious holiday. The uh, feast of maximum occupancy. It tastes like. Oh, you should join my religion, Mo. It's great. No hell, no kneeling. Sorry, Homer. I was born a snake handler and I'll die a snake handler.